Hello friends and students. In the previous video segment, we have gone through the fundamentals of demultiplexers and also have seen the design of a 1 is to 2 demultiplexer. So here in this video segment, we shall see the design of a 1 is to 4 demultiplexer. As I've already mentioned, a demultiplexer is a one input, many output device. So here I need to design a 1 is to 4 demux. So there is a single input I and there are four outputs Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3. Now how many select lines do we need? So therefore, we know that M equals log N to base 2 where N happens to be the number of outputs and M happens to be the number of select lines. So since N is 4, N is 4 here, so I have log 4 to base 2 which is 2. So n equals 2. So we need two select lines S1 and S0. So I need two select lines to select the input to the four outputs. And also we can include an enable. So I have E which is the enable. So now can I write the truth table? Yes. So I have enable S1, S0. And then again I have the four outputs Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0. So now how do I complete the truth table? If enable is 0, irrespective of the condition of S1 and S0, the output will always be 0. So the Dmux is disabled. And then if the enable is 1, only then the Dmux operates. So now if S1 and S0 is 0, the input I appears at Y0. So I appears here, the remaining 3 are 0. If I have 0, 1, S1 is 0, S0 is 1, the input I appears at Y1 and the others are 0. If the select lines are 1, 0, the input I appears at Y2, so the others are 0. And then 1, 1, of course, you have the input appearing at Y3 and the remaining 3 are 0. So it's a very simple design. So now let us, uh, a very simple truth table. So let us see how we can design this. So what is Y0? Y0 is enable E being 1, E into, both of them are 0. So I have S1 bar, S0 bar into the input i. So enable is 1, both of them are 0, s1 and s0 is 0, their complements are 1. So it is 1 into i. So if i is 0, y0 is 0, i is 1, y0 is 1. So the input is connected to the first output y0. The next one, y1 equals e into, I have s1 bar s0. So S1 bar S0 into I. So I hope you've already got the idea of how we can write the expressions for the output. And what is Y2? Y2 is E into S1 S0 bar into I because I have 1 0 here. And Y3 equals enable into S1 S0 into I. So now how can we implement this? So we can implement this very easily. So I have the enable E and then we have S1. I need S1 bar so pass it through an inverter. So I have S1 bar and then I need S0 the other select line which is S0 and then S0 bar pass it through an inverter so you get S0 bar and then of course you have the input I. So we have the input i. So now how do I uh, get the design here? So I get the output y0. If I pass e, s1 bar, s0 bar and i through a 4 input AND gate, I get y0. Now similarly for y1, you have e and then s1 bar s0 and then i pass it through for input and gate i get 1. 
Next, what is y2? You have e and then you have s1, s0 bar, i pass it through a 4 input AND gate, you get y2. And then similarly, y3 is e, s1, s0, and i pass all of them through a 4 input AND gate, I get y3. So this is how we get the output y0, y1, y2, y3, which are the outputs of a 1 is to 4 Dmux. So in the previous video segment, we have seen how we can design a 1 is to 2 Dmux. So here we have seen how we can design a 1 is to 4 Dmux. So in the next two video segments, we shall see how we can design a 1 is to 8 Dmux and also how we can realize a full subtractor using a 1 is to 8 Dmux. So do not forget to watch those two videos. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe and to view all the other videos in Digital Electronics. Either you click on the i icon or go through the playlist Digital Electronics. You will find all the videos there and thanks for watching.